So this is my favorite camera, or at least my favorite set of cameras. At least one of them comes with me absolutely everywhere I go, and they fit in my pockets. They have internal storage in case I forget one of my SD cards. They are simple to use, and I get great images straight out of camera. So I've been using the Ricoh GR3 since March of 2019 when it was first released, and before that, the Ricoh GR2, which to this day, I absolutely regret selling. The GR3 has come and gone just in and out of my life over the years as I've tried and tested so many other cameras, but I think what speaks volumes to this camera is that it has outlasted all of the rest. So I'm not gonna get technical about this camera as I've covered this at length across my channel over the years, and you can also just look up other videos that people have made regarding those if you're interested in this camera. But I wanna talk about why this camera has lasted for so long and why I think it's absolutely worth it. So to start off, this camera is affordable. It may not look like much to the average viewer's eyes, but internally, I think what you get out of this camera is absolutely worth it. I know people love Fuji cameras for their nostalgic look and what you can get out of camera, but in my opinion, Ricoh offers that same thing in a smaller, more pocketable, everyday carry form factor. One of the benefits of this camera is the internal picture profiles that you have. My workflow usually consists of me shooting all my photos in RAW, but lately I've enjoyed shooting JPEG as well. I mainly shoot in black and white as that's kind of just how I see the world, but I also enjoy shooting in color at times as well. And being able to use either the negative film or positive film presets that come in this camera and adjusting them to how they work for me has given me the ability to create images that look pleasing to my eye. In my opinion, it's pretty difficult to make digital photos look like film but with the right adjustments in this camera, I feel like you can do that straight out of this camera. If you're new to this channel or you're a returning viewer, you know that I like to shoot one of two things, either street photography or my family. But I'm also continually learning how to explore and just document the everyday mundaneness of my life. And this camera is the perfect carry for me because it's my daily notebook. When I'm around family or friends, no one poses or puts on a persona for me to be able to just take photos and it allows the moment to remain candid. And on the streets, I feel like this is one of the most inconspicuous cameras that you can use because no one looks at you as a serious photographer and depending on how you approach your subjects, they won't even notice you taking a photo. But what I love most about this camera is that it is minimalistic and simply just doesn't ask for attention. So you may be asking why two Ricos, or at least which one do you or I prefer? So once again, I'm not gonna get too technical about this because honestly, these are the same exact cameras, they just have separate focal lengths. One has a wider angle, 28 millimeters, and the other has a tighter angle, 40 millimeters. For me so far, in most use cases, the 28 millimeter has kind of been my preferred go-to when it comes to street photography because it allows me to get close to subjects and still kind of capture the environment around them, being able to tell the story of that time setting in the scene. The 40 millimeter Ricoh GR3X I've actually been using for the past year and I've found it to be more useful when I don't want to necessarily shoot people on the street doing street photography, I'm more so just focus on shooting kind of abstract street photography art, capturing architecture, shooting landscapes, or whether I'm shooting portraits or something. This allows me to just focus more so on the composition and be able to isolate whatever subject I'm shooting and create a better composition. With everything though, growing in my craft, my hobby, my love for photography takes time. And really coming to the conclusion of what works for me comes down 
to reflecting on my photographs. Lately, I've been heavily inspired to print and I highly encourage you to do the same thing. Seeing and being able to feel your photos physically on paper in different lighting settings with all this texture and different elements of a piece of paper just feels so much better and just brings so much more life to your photos, your work, um, to those moments that you appreciate so much, opposed to what you can get through a digital experience, whether that be through a phone, on Instagram, or even on a computer through watching a video like this. Printing has really shown me how much I value this camera and what it can do. It's been through so much with me, through good moments and bad moments, and just a lot of my history that I've kind of shared and documented on this channel. I love the way the color is rendered on different papers. I love the way the grain looks at high ISOs. I absolutely love the uniqueness and imperfections of this camera. Again, this just comes with experience from the longevity of using a camera over time. And for me and my workflow, I love small cameras. I love pocketable cameras. I love something that doesn't feel like a burden and that's weighing me down. So if you appreciate the small things and moments in life and you want to be able to have a tool that you can carry on you every day and produce great images, I definitely recommend this camera. There are different cameras out there that are the same size and also fit in your pocket. But for me, the Ricos have been such a unique and beautiful experience. I can't really see myself moving forward without at least having one of these in my arsenal at all times.